In the last few sessions, we've been looking at Grand Central Dispatch. In this one, we're going to look at locking in the form of semaphores. Semaphores are a method of locking a resource that can accept multiple uses. So if you could have up to two threads accessing a resource but no more, you would want to use a semaphore. And so I'll examine these in this session. And I'll start by importing dispatch, dispatch.h. And here in the view controller, I'm going to put a dispatch underscore semaphore underscore t, and just call it sema. And I want some work to do, so I will put in a method to do something again. And once again, it'll take ns string as a parameter. And once again, I'll put a for loop in here. Int i is equal to 0. i is less than 50. i plus plus. ns log percent at count percent d s i and a sleep you sleep 50 in the view did load event another dispatch queue q is equal to dispatch get global queue and dispatch underscore q priority default looks good with a zero for the flags, that's great. Now I'll set up a couple tasks. So in the queue, define a block, self do something, make this one task one, and I'll copy this and make a couple changes. Task two task 3. Now if we could only have two tasks doing something at the same time, we could run into a problem here. We could have all three trying to use this at the same time. So we'd want to make a change. We can say sema is equal to dispatch semaphore create. Now in here the long value is the number of tasks that can be using do something at once the number of different asynchronous tasks. Now I'm going to set this to 2. If you set this to 1, it would be the equivalent of making a lock. Exactly the equivalent of making a lock. It would only allow one thing in at once to do something. And there's some work in do something to set this up so it prevents it. I'll start by doing a dispatch semaphore underscore wait. Input the semaphore, which is sema and the dispatch time. Now, I want this to go on forever. I don't want it to stop after a certain length of time. I want it to block any other task for as long as the other two are in there. So I'll use dispatch time forever. And at the end, after everything is done, the important tasks anyways, I want to do a dispatch semaphore signal and sema. In here, just to show that this is working, I'll set a sleep for 200 milliseconds. I could set it longer if I'd like. And I'll copy this command and make some changes. Instead of count, I'll say start. Instead of this count, I'll say end. And save. Run this. If you look at the tasks, you'll notice that they start and they end, and there's never more than two tasks running any of these at one time. And so task two starts, task one starts, task two ends, task one ends, and there's none using it. Start, start, end, end, and a little later they begin to mix up. Okay, we've covered the basics of uh, semaphores and locking using Grand Central Dispatch.